let me quickly go to the main consequences of um, my marriage is under the law. I'll just pick the issues I believe are the ones that are calling for this kind of discussion. And I will start with uh, the first one under our law. Uh, the first consequence of a marriage under our law is that um, the parties who are married must confer sexual privileges exclusively to each other if it is a marriage under chapter 511. Murume ne mkazi apana anotender kwa kuti ari mmerege ya kadaro orara ne umwe muna asiri mmerege ya ke iyoyo if it is a 511 marriage. Mangwe tu ma marriage is iwao mkazi anenga actually compelled to confer my sexual privileges to the husband. Although the husband will be allowed if they marry to be conferring sexual privileges to some other person. But I must stress that in those other marriages which are potentially polygamous, the husband must still be faithful and can only confer sexual privileges to a person whom they are married to under customary law. So it doesn't follow Could if a person is a husband and um, a marriage which is potentially polygamous, then anotende wane mtemo kuchingo rara ni ma girlfriends ahasi na kurora. Anenga achi mtemo wane nga osiru kufuma foot. In that case, which means when we say the law does not allow that, the consequence is that one of the parties arimu marriage can sue the third party for what is called adultery. Adultery is a wrong which is committed by a person who then has sexual relations uh, with a married person, and that wrong is committed to the other spouse. The spouse was anokwanisa kusua this third party who has come in and claim what are called adultery damages. And so forth. And that is true of all my marriages. Uh, it, even where the marriage is potentially polygamous, as long as the husband has not married the other part, party in a polygamous framework. Now, this issue and which are the first consequence here, uh, conferring sexual privileges exclusively upon each other. Yani my differences around the world. And these differences around the world, in the in the olden days, Adultery was itself a crime, you could actually be arrested. But that is no longer the case in Zimbabwe and in many other countries. But if you go to other countries like South Africa, adultery is no longer even a civil wrong. You can't even sue what you tell us. So Zimbabwe, I say, in South Africa, in my countries, but in Zimbabwe, we still recognize adultery as a civil wrong. So that Munarine marriage. Um, a third party who is interfering in that regard, you can sue for adultery, which you can no longer sue. Because South Africa is sitting here. You know, one of the people who are going to run away, you know, I'm going to run away from the room, I'm going to run away from the room. South Africa is not a bus, I'm going to run away from the room. But you know, I'm going to run away from the right to run away from the other party. So we still have adultery as a remedy and so forth. Then the second consequence that I need to deal with uh, clearly, uh, it is obvious. Under our law, marriage can only be between a man and a woman. You must be a man who you are a woman, the other part. At if we meet the marriage between people of the same sex, so same sex marriages are prohibited by law here. But there are other countries now, South Africa is a key example, where same-sex relationships are allowed uh, in the sense that people can stay together, enter into a civil union. It might not be described at law as a marriage. Uh, it will be said to be a civil union or a civil partnership, 
but the difference is completely out because those people will be required they will have the same rights and privileges as our uh, very married very separate one of my heterosexual um, partners very that kind of thing so marriage in our case um, has to be between a man and a woman then the third consequence I want to get into property ownership during marriage. Property ownership during marriage. Under our law, when you enter into a marriage, that automatically means that your property is not necessarily joint owned. We are in a regime Yellow in Ozgi, our marriages are out of community of property. Out of community of property. Means that when we are married, our regard we as owning their assets jointly. Unless they agree to own the assets jointly. So as you know, the church, Mahashi Nuchi Mweshete, Mahasha Kat, as you see, those Ripam Temo. A marriage in Zimbabwe is out of community of property. Each spouse owns his or her assets and can acquire his or her assets individually. There is no provision you could acquire. In Chatua Chemumesemuri 2, there is still ownership which is separate. If you want the ownership to be joint, you must actually make it joint. This is a very important point. So if you do not own the things joined, the law still regards the property as separate. This is during the marriage. But when the marriage is being dissolved. And I think that um, Reverend Tondanavandin Vaita and so on, this is an important point that your, your, the, the audience must understand. Mukangamaru rana, musati mchatiyo wabdis kwa wae ndaka na wadisova kana mwenye afa. But time ya muri po mese muri, no dissolution, no nothing. Mutemo uno wona property yenyu iri separate. As kana mchila wati property yenyu iri gadwe as the same. Munoto saina agreement before the marriage. Ino tender wane mutemo, ino an anti-nuptial contract, which is to make your marriage in community of property. Meaning, you can sign another contract. You can go to the same You You own those uh, jointly, automatically. But if you sign another one, you are out of community of property. If Papa, Papa, Mutemo, we do Zimbabwe, Wasiana, ne Mutemo, we Zimwe nika zakawanda ku South Africa wanga wakadai. But very recently, South Africa yaka change Mutemo. You can make a now good marriages in South Africa are now automatically. In community, Ugangorora church automatically mark owners when you say jointly. Vara Sanga look owner jointly, Dover no sign a chair agreement. Saga hope of Arugundis Governor, Rutere, Rakuti, Muzimbabwe. Can I'm going to sign a marriage certificate? Vos sign a vos sign a ma paper, vos sign a ma paper, Marora na ma di. Zato pera ipa papa as ta root property in Yaga Batan. As can a mutual out property in easy Batan and motor sign an acre. Then Kunana South Africa, Mukaita Osa in a Osa in a paper. Immediately, Mato Saina foot in my paper, I could marriage in your property. Iri. So the regime in Zimbabwe is called we marry out of community of property. Zine Nyaya, Zine Nyaya, Guti Kana Musinam Chat, Osina Gutiwa Disova, Kana Dumafa. It means Guti Baba Kana Mai, Vano Kwanza Kutenga, Nekutenga Sajinu Zavarukona. So a husband can sell the house. During the course of the marriage, can I buy him Mr. Mike? Apana can I buy him Papa? Actually, owner and apana chi can I buy him Mr. Mike? Because can I property him Mr. Mike? Papa, we property chi and so on. Agar or why? Many women have that. They can buy and sell their assets. No issue arises. You good. You are in a married relationship. Taka visa mtemo anga oruko kuti taiti muniye. Uh, Arab Munagaro and Aram Kazi, as I enter into another contract, passing out with Muruma, Vuma, and so on. Zaga Perez.